Hi kids, it's Mrs. Compton and we are going to use this fancy tool today. And if you remember this tool, you might remember it has a fancy pants name. The name of this tool is a wreck and wreck. Okay, so before we get started on our activity, I want you to stop and notice and wonder about this tool. So everybody can hit pause right now and remind yourselves what you know about this tool. Okay, so maybe you noticed that there were five red beads on the top. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And five red beads on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. And all together, there are 10 red beads. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 red beads. And maybe you even noticed that there are the same number of white beads. So there must be 10 white beads as well. Let's count the beads all together. Let's count them going across here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there are 20 beads in all. All right, so I'm gonna slide some of these beads and I want you to think about what you notice and what how many beads there are over here. And I wanna know how you see it. All right, here we go, ready? How many beads are over here? Okay, and I wanna know how you see it. Are you thinking about this as a three and a two more? So let's count them. One, two, three, plus two more makes five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe you saw it that way. Or maybe you saw it like this. Here are two beads and another two beads. Maybe somebody's using a double fact. Two plus two is four, and one more makes five. Okay, let's try another one. Let's put them all back. So when we use our tool, this Wreck and Wreck tool, what we're gonna do is we're always gonna put our, our beads all the way to the right when we're done, and then we'll start again. Okay, here's a new one, ready? Okay, how many beads are over here on the left? And how do you see it? All right, so let's see, how many beads are there? Tell me. Yeah, did you say six? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna take some guesses on how you saw this. Maybe you saw it as a two, and another two, and another two. Did anybody see three groups of two? Maybe you even tried counting by twos. Let's try it, ready? Two, four, six. Wow, that would be a really cool way to count. Learning by, to count by twos can be kind of tough, but it kind of makes sense when I'm looking at it in groups of two like this on my, my Rec and Rec tool. Okay, I have another guess. I'm going to guess some of you thought about this as four and this as two more. So maybe you even counted on four, five, six. Did anybody do that? Okay, let's push our tools all the way to the right side. Remember, we have to push them all the way to the right when we're starting over. Okay, are you ready? We're going to try another one. Okay, how many are there on the left side and how do you see them? Okay, so I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna guess that some of you said one, two, three, four, five, six. 
maybe you even knew that this was going to be five red beads plus one more white bead. So maybe you were like, oh, I already know that five plus one more makes six. Maybe you knew that. And then you had your six, and then we had two more. Maybe some of you saw it like that. Six plus two makes eight. Okay, I have another guess. I'm gonna guess that some of you thought about it differently. So maybe you saw five on the top that were red plus the two on the bottom that were red. So maybe you thought about it as five, six, seven plus one more, which makes eight. Did anybody think about it like that? All right, let's see. See if I can get this erased and then, of course, I need to move my tools back, right? Which side are we going to move our tools to, the right or the left? We are going to move them to the right. We have to start in our starting position, right? Okay, here we go. Ready? All right, get ready. Okay, how many beads are on the left? Okay, I have some guesses. I have some big guesses this time. Okay, so my thinking is I think some of you remembered that this is a row of 10. Did anyone remember that? So we know for sure we have 10 and then some more, right? So let's see, how many more do we have? One, two, three, four more. So 10 plus four, let's see, can we count on from 10? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10 plus four makes 14. Okay, but I'm guessing not everybody saw it that way. I'm guessing that some people saw it this way too. Maybe you thought about this. If we put this one over there, you know it would make 15, but it wasn't actually there, so it was one less. Did anybody think about that? So it was not quite 15, it was take off one. One less than 15 is 14. So maybe you thought about that. Or I have one more guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dog wanted to say hello to you, so I had to put myself on pause. So I was just about to give my last guess when Chip over here started barking. Chippy. Okay, so I was gonna guess that maybe you thought about the red beads together and the white beads together. So how many red beads were there? Maybe you thought about it as five and four more. So five plus four makes nine. But then that's just the red beads. So together we have nine red beads and then we have five white beads. So nine plus five. So maybe you counted on from the nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Doesn't matter which way we see it, right? We all came up with the number 14 beats. And that's what makes math so fun, right? Because we can just look at things and we know that people are gonna see things in different ways from us. All right, kids, I hope that you get some practice in and I'll see you next time. Bye.